Greetings everybody, this is Dungan here with episode 4 of my School of Thought series and um, I want to change up this series slightly before the first three episodes are more tutorial based and I I missed things and I wasn't fully complete. I was I covered a lot of ground but I missed a few little bits of information here and there and Overall, the t full tutorials is once what was what I was not going for in this series originally, and I want to bring it back as a sort of introduction for a little bit of features that map makers could play with in their own custom maps, and that's what I'm going to want to do here today. I'm going to be covering about natural spawning and persistent mobs um, in custom maps. Uh, Recently, map makers were given a lot of spawner tools, and uh, it also included persistent mobs. Um, persistent mobs have been in the in the game for a few weeks now, but um, it hasn't really been shown how it affected natural spawning yet. And basically, if a natural spawn is if a mob is persistent, a hostile mob, it will take the spot of one of these um, natural spawning mobs. And right now, the in single player, there are currently 79. Oh, right now, there's 75, but 79 is the mob cap and mob limit. But um, with persistent mobs, you could change that to be whatever you want, and this could be used in CTM maps for um, custom natural spawning difficulties. Like you could have an easy button that turns natural spawning to an easier level like only maybe this many instead of the whole 79 and then you can have medium and hard and with all 79 available and other things like that and you could also do it in PvP maps instead of like spending time on a dark room that could take up a lot of space and a lot of mapping area um, you can just have like 30 hostile mobs stuck in the one by a too high by one by one dark room in the way beneath spawn or a kitten in a random spot and it'll cover that for the entire map so you could have like 30 in there and the hostile mob will only be 49 then uh, although multiplayer has a different spawn limit based on the number of players around but anyways I want to experiment sh this a little bit I have a uh, mob spawner here that will spawn zombies really fast for me. And they also pick up loot. Oh, uh, I just gave them my power bill. Okay. <laughs> but um, anyways, if they pick up loot, they will not despawn. They become one of these persistent mobs. So you can, um, in single player, make yourself a persistent mob area. And <laughs> I know vanilla... Hardcore is easy enough as is, but you can make it completely and utterly easy by um, making it so mobs don't spawn at all. Pretty much. By uh, just doing this, you could toss some items. I mean, it'll take some time to figure out which mobs actually pick up items, but all you need is one zombie spawner, and eventually the mobs that cannot will despawn. And all you're left with them will be the mobs that have the items in their hands just sitting there forever. So yeah, it takes <laughs> all the challenge out of hardcore, but there's not much challenge anyways. So right now, you see that there are mobs still around, but um, that's because they didn't despawn yet or die off. I lost my power bow. my sounds off again sorry but anyways I want to I'll clear out these mobs and leave the mobs in there with all the wool in their hand and we'll see what happens outside the arena next night all right so I am back and it is night and this is finally full I had a little bit of technical difficulties with the spawner but it is now full and as you can see, it is nighttime, and what used to be a arena full of mobs is now empty, void, and it's not unpeaceful. There are hostile mobs right there, so it's obviously not unpeaceful. But 
There's just no mobs anywhere. So all these, what's going on is all these mobs are taking up the spawn limit, and the natural spawning of the rest of the map is empty, zero. So even like these mobs will never despawn. I could prove it by going uh, 120 blocks away. Um, if I do so, like mobs would instantly despawn because that is what their despawn distance is, about 120. And as you can see, even out here, there are no mobs anywhere. Even if you go out of the loading screen of that, there are still no mobs. Nowhere to be seen. Yeah, just... Hey, this chat, this uh, technique is a very overpowered in survival single player and vanilla Minecraft and I'm not sure how long if it's gonna even stay last because of what could I, what you could do to a hardcore world just like make it pointless even more pointless but um all those zombies are still there none of them despawned they should have despawned instantly if they were to despawn and there's just no mobs anywhere so like this could be used in map making, however, even though it might wreck single player, it could still be used in map making, CTMs, adventure, um, even PvP to limit the amount of natural spawning on the map. And we could use it to like make dark areas of a map with no mobs in it, or only mobs from custom spawners, because spawners will still work. Um, a normal mob spawner will still spawn mobs, whatever this, it ignores the mob cap. And yeah, we could just you have complete control. We could have complete control with this technique over the number of natural spawns in the map, which could be used for all genres, pretty much. I'll let you figure out what it is, because that's what that's your job now is to figure out what you want if you want to use this and what you could use this for. And all those sorts of things, but I just want to share what could happen to your map with persistent mobs. All it takes is persistent mobs, I believe. It does not require a mob with an item in its hand. Um, if it does, it's a, a mob with a drop rate of said item with a hundred percent chance. All these mobs would drop their wool with a hundred percent chance. So, um, yeah, you could have a map on hard difficulty or any difficulty with zero natural spawns in darkness. So yeah, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave your feedback in the comments as always. This is Dungon and I will see you next time.